Mam na się wyjazd. A my się wyjazd. Pijan. I chodzi na fych maciamy. Co chodzi? Mauricio lives with his family on a reserve at Sandy Lake in northern Ontario. It's a straggling settlement of identical houses spaced out along the lake. How? I don't know what to do with my hands. I'm Mauricio is an artist, and occasionally he gets to Toronto or Montreal to attend exhibitions of his work. Norval Mauricio is an Indian authentic, an Indian reserve. Norval Mauricio is a reserve Indian. He is a trapper and handyman, but for the most part unemployed. His formal education ended at grade three. But his real education has been in the University of Life. He learned his lessons from his maternal grandfather, who was an encyclopedia of the lore of the Ojibwe tribe. It is from this source that he has learned the lessons that serve him and inspire him in his work. I don't think uh, a person should waste his talent that he's given to do uh, fixed motors. Many times I was told, do something else. But I don't want to do this. I want to do art. I believe this is what uh, the Great Spirit wants me to do. We do not know his ways. Perhaps I'm a chosen instrument to do certain things for my people. We do not know. I said, look at the sheet of paper. There's nothing in there. Same thing as God when he created the world. There was nothing in there. But it came through his mind. The world was popular. Trees, the sky, and everything we see. Well, it is the same way with me. I don't consider myself as a Manado or the Great Spirit. The empty sheet of paper. He must inspire me with these things. helps a lot because I could start telling one legend to one Indian in return he'll tell me another one I could tell him another one he could tell me another one this continues to various different Indians and by this time I have a lot of information mostly all the Indians this is what we generally talk about we talk about legends we talk about uh, uh, various incidents what happened to in history and this is where I get my information. And some of the legends that uh, I hear from Indians, 
they start, uh, I see mental, what you call this, uh, images. You know, it's in my head already. I just could see it already in the, in the canvas or paper or whatever medium I'm going to use. Mariso's brothers have established themselves away from the reserve. He himself keeps coming back. For him, the Indian way isn't quite dead. It might even revive. His beloved grandfather died years ago. But there are men on the reserve still who remember and respect ancestral customs. Marisol visits an elder to invite him to a ceremony, which he dreamed he was commanded to carry out. He consents to preside at the ceremony, which is to give an Indian name to Marisol's newborn son in the name of Manitou. That was the way of our ancestors. And you, Mariso, are the only one of all the young people who has remembered that way. It was not a bad way. I shall be there. <laughs> there are more than a thousand people living on the reserve. Some reserves in Canada are prosperous. The majority, however, are poor in resources. And many of the people couldn't get along at all without welfare payments and governmental assistance. I've lived uh, a miserable life, I should say, yet a happy life in a certain way. I didn't have uh, too, much, too much of anything. I didn't have no clothes. I remember one time going into a, a cookery where they had camps. I remember I had a big grip on, on my pants and my seat was showing. Now, do you think if I had an extra pair of pants, I could have went home and wore the other? I didn't have none. Many times I didn't have no shoes in the summer. Because it wasn't my dad's fault. If he could have afforded it, he could have given us some. Now this is what I've been striving for all these years, to try to get away from it. My brothers that are married, I have four brothers, they're married, they work, they, they got out of this thing. They have good homes, they got good families, they make good income and they are able to provide for themselves whatever they need. But to me, like, uh, I like the, the Indian type of living, then I like the white man's type of living. Mariso has tried living away from the reserve, but for him this place has a significance which a city dweller can't imagine. This is where I learned. This is where the decision was. I had to come away from the distraction. I had to come to peace, simplicity, in order to re really know myself what I want to do. At the ceremony, which was to give the Moraso baby an Indian name, most of those who came were the older people and children. The younger generation didn't turn out, for on that day, the voices, however faintly, 
echoed the distant tribal past. And many of the young have been taught to think of that past without pride. The naming feast is so outdated that Morisot began by assuring his guests that he was not setting himself up as a shaman or a medicine man, that the ceremonial was a genuine revival of ancient tradition. The tobacco is a gift from many too. To smoke together is to acknowledge the gift. The dead branch is the life and season past. The living branch is renewal. All of nature is created by Manitou. Man himself is a creation of Manitou. We must come to God, the God of the white man's religion, the Manitou of our ancestors. Manitou has ordained that we men shall give the names to all things he has created. The newborn is to be named Uskinikipinikapo. May he be blessed. Age, death, and eternal rebirth. The foundation of all ancient religion rests on nature and man's place in it. At the feast, the cherries symbolize the fruit of the tree of life. The bowl of maize symbolizes our mother, the earth. <laughs> The values of the old Indian way were strange to the white man. It rarely occurred to a white man that his own ways might seem barbaric to an Indian. Chief Sitting Bull, long ago, related with horror. Today, at the trading post, I saw a white woman strike her own child. A prayer, a blessing, a welcome. In the old days, a child was born not just into a family, but into a band, a tribe. One day, he would be a hunter, too. The continued existence of the band would one day depend upon him. Now, the band doesn't mean much anymore. <laughs> 